Good morning, Maria. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Good. Um, thank you for meeting with me. I'm with the Girls Empowerment Network. I'm not sure how much I told you, but um, I just had some questions to ask you uh, about girl development. Um, oh, it sounds like we have similar interests. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's great. I'm thrilled to talk um, to you today. What? I'm sorry? I'm, I'm very happy to be here talking with you today. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, okay, well, I'll just jump right in because we only have 10 minutes. So um, how are girls developing emotionally in middle school, and why is it so important to build their self-esteem and leadership skills at a young age? It's really important. We can't overstate the positive impact a strong self-esteem can have on a girl now and throughout her life. Um, we don't quite know the root or why self-esteem matters so much, but we do know it's linked to all sorts of positive things we want for girls, like academic achievement, school success, um, athletic abilities, health and social skills. Uh, when a girl has a strong self-esteem, she can combat a whole um, host of negative influences um, that she's confronted with daily. We know also that girls start um, elementary school generally with a decent self-esteem. So our national leadership program, especially our most recent called It's Your Story, Tell It, um, really helps girls from a very young age develop and maintain that self-esteem and confidence so that they perhaps don't um, have that dip in confidence that's all too frequent in adolescence. Okay, and what do you think causes that dip? What, I mean, what are the largest negative influences on young girls and how can parents and educators help them avoid those? Um, from research, we know that the dip is sort of caused by um, this transition to between the teen and the adolescent years. The, Girls specifically are changing, their bodies are changing, they might be moving to a new school environment. The impact of peers can't be overstated. Um, there's a strong um, peer influence <clears throat> that they get at school, they're spending more time away from their family and really trying to navigate that new independence. Uh, so some of those things have been identified as um, responsible for that, that dip. Girls navigating that burgeoning independence, but not quite um, feeling totally ready uh, to take on older teen years and adulthood. And are there things that, that parents and educators can do to help them They're along sure. their path? There sure are. Um, we'd first ask you to become a Girl Scout or have your daughter do so. Girl Scouts is such a smart, strong, empowering program for girls. We do offer Girl Scouts um, leadership journeys starting in kindergarten with daisies, our littlest leaders, all the way up to 12th grade ambassadors. We um, design our program to be age relevant and around themes that are important, interesting, and engaging. Because certainly, high school students have different needs, different interests um, than do second and third grade brownies. Mm -hmm. Um, now, if you're a parent, what you might want to do is really watch what you're watching on TV. We know the media is a strong influence, and girls are watching you. Parents are key and immediate role models. I also like to suggest to parents to watch what they're saying to the girls, and I have to watch myself, too. We all do. Uh, we find we are saying in the most complimentary way, oh, you look beautiful today. But it's frequently better to compliment a girl and her talents, her skills, her willingness to take risks, to try out new things. And that's something our National Leadership Program offers girls, these experiences. And when we praise girls for these experiences, these new skills, real strong and meaningful self-esteem develops. OK. And what does it mean for a girl to be a leader in her own life? That's a great question. We talk about that all the time. Girl Scouting builds girls of courage, confidence, and character who can make the world a better place. But she can make her own world a better place today when she's a leader in her own life. A leader in her own life might have healthy relationship skills. She might know her values. And when maybe her peers are pressuring her to do a certain thing, she might want to maintain those values and stay true to them. A leader in her own life will seek challenges and take age-appropriate risks to try new things, and that's a huge confidence boost for girls. A leader in her own life might be in the cafeteria when there's a bully situation going on and might be willing to stand up to that bully or, and or get help, depending on the age of the girl. Okay. And how does an all-girl environment help girls to be self-confident and empowered members of their community? 
We know that all girl environments um, allow girls and give them a more comfortable space to take new risks, to try on new leadership roles, and to practice them. Then, when they have that safe all-girl environment where they're practicing these new skills, these new roles, they easily transition to their community, school community, larger um, town, the world. They've practiced them, they feel comfortable. We know that when girls have boys in the room, they don't feel quite as comfortable doing so, especially um, at the middle and older grade levels. So if we start this early, hopefully girls will always feel confident in doing so. Um, and are there anything, is there anything else that parents can do personally to make sure their daughters are developing healthy body image and self-esteem? Well, body image is, is one element of self-esteem. And again, what we want to ask parents to do is not to focus solely on physical attractiveness. At Girl Scouts, we know that real beauty comes from gaining skills and confidence, and then you just glow, and you do feel beautiful, or you don't place the same amount of pressure on yourself when you see different images, and you know the beauty can come in all shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. Now, what parents? Oh, um, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, what parents can do is talk to their girls again about those different qualities that do make them beautiful. I mean, I hate to sound, you know, hokey. Beauty comes from the inside, but it is the truth. And when girls, um, girls are constantly either communicated to about beauty being important or, you know, God forbid, criticized um, about looking a certain way from their parents, and it does happen. Um, certainly that can cause diminished self-esteem. But when parents are really complimenting girls on those inner qualities, wow, you were clever today. I liked how you tackled that, that um, activity. I can't believe you tried this. I never thought you would try this, and I'm really proud of you for taking a risk. Things like this. Those are meaningful praises and compliments to girls that make them feel strong, that take the priority off of beauty for girls, and allow them, actually, to feel quite beautiful. And where can we go for more information? For more information, you can go to www.girlscouts.org. You can get more information about our National Leadership Journey Program, as well as find out how to become a member or an inspiring adult volunteer. I'd like um, to make a note also that it's our 100th anniversary, um, so you can get information on this exciting time for Girl Scouts there, too. OK, I think that's, I think that's all the questions I had. Great. It was great Thank talking to you, Maria. Thanks so much. Continue uh, your good nice work. Day. Okay, bye-bye.